Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumaya. So in this tutorial, we'll uh, take up the redirection concept in uh, Unix. So redirection is mainly used uh, whenever you want you are uh, executing a command and you don't want to send the output to the screen, whereas you want to send the same thing to a file. So at that time, you'll be using this redirection. So instead of sending the output to the screen, you'll be sending the same to a file. Okay. So this is what is redirection. Now uh, there are the uh, three types of redirection one is the output redirection redirection error redirection and the input redirection we'll see one by one how we can work on it so output redirection is where when i um, so i'll just uh, execute a command called cal so i want this output to not to get displayed here and i want that to go into a file so i'm just going to say cal and i'll put this um, lesser than symbol then I'm going to give the uh, some file name like t1. So the t1, even though the file name is not there, it will automatically create a t1 file. So let me cache the t1. You can see inside the t1 file, the cal, the calendar is being like whatever the output is sent to this file. So this is how uh, you can use your single lesser than symbol. When you use this double. When you use this single, it means that it overwrites. For example, when I say something like um, hmm, date, okay. So let me say date, and I'll give this lesser than one lesser than symbol, and I say t1. You can just uh, cat and see the t1. You can see it is overwritten. Before we had the calendar, uh, now it is overwritten by date. So, in order to append instead of uh, overwriting, what you need to do is just say for cal or, or I'm just giving a command. Then, instead of giving single lesser than, just give double lesser than and then t1. Okay. Now, when you cat the t1, you can see the previous date is also there, and as well as now the newly executed calendar is also there. So this is how you will be using your redaction. This is the output redaction. So there is another another thing called um, error redirection. For example, I am going to uh, you know cat. I'll just um, try to open a file or read a file which is not at all there. Let me say rad. You can see no there is no such file. I don't want this error to be uh, shown like this. I just want to say I'll just clear this off and same cat mm, rad and uh, i'm going to say two lesser than symbol this is how you need to redirect an error file uh, error message so i'm just going to say t1 let me cat this t1 you can see inside the t1 the error message is gone so this is how you need to mention the error direction that is you just need to say two and lesser than symbol that's it it's not like your uh, lesser than the the double the output redaction the right mode or the up in mode it's not like that so this is what is about the error um, redirection so another uh, redirection is there called um, input redaction it's not much uh, useful uh, simply when you say cat hyphen and whatever you type here the same thing will be you know displayed so that's it just uh, use your uh, control C so you will come out of that just when you say cat hyphen uh, whatever you type the same thing will be repeated it's not much useful but this is also a kind of input redirection so this is what is about redirection in the next uh, tutorial we'll see what are piping and we'll uh, use all these um, uh, uh, concepts like redirection piping and all in it so hope you have understood and uh, you enjoy my tutorial so thank you very much for watching.